I never really understood why <clears throat> logging was so important before. Um, but when you're use when you're involved in a very large project, and my core my core concept is efficiency. Um, I'm more interested in the efficiency of my code than I am in the oh, where are we? I'm more interested in the efficiency of my code than I am in the debug messages at all. This isn't even enabled, but it's <clears throat> I'm trying to, re to uh, it was suggested that I remove this section, but I don't want to remove this section. It, it can be useful in the future to solve other bugs. So to pass this nonchalant information that I'm not real interested in at all at the moment could become useful in debugging complex um, bugs that I have to be traced, especially in a functional engine, uh, throughout all of this code, okay, just to emphasize here, to, to go through all this code, you basically need that debugging information. You don't want to dump it. You, that would, that would be a horrible mistake when you're trying to build really huge software so that's so i now understand why you need a logger and an efficient logger it's more about efficiency and just the proper way of of walking in the footsteps of the code that's the best way i can put it kind of like sand people you got to follow in the footsteps that's the, that's the best reference I got for you, okay? <laughs> it's nerdy, at least. So, so there's your geeky C++ reference for the day and my personal experience as to why you need a logger, how, how you should feel about that, and uh, why principle has guided me through this. Happy coding.